Hello, this is David Taylor at Web Media in Chester, and in this video, I'd like to explore the question, what are you paying for when you hire a professional web designer? And basically, I've, I've condensed this down into three, three main issues. Number one, I think you're paying for the ability of that designer to project your business as credible, authoritative, with track record, authentic and trusted. And what this means is that when somebody arrives on your website, particularly for the first time, you've got about five seconds to visually convince them that your business is credible, has authority, has done what it purports to do for other clients and they've been happy. You're authentic and you are to be trusted. And that is no small feat to achieve in a matter of seconds, often less than 10 seconds. So people will whiz up and down your homepage and they'll be looking for key indicators that tell them this is a credible business. Uh, I, I'm prepared to engage more with this website. If you can't project those that quality of design, that quality of message in those first 10 seconds, you're probably going to lose that web visitor and um, that's the end of them as a poten potential customer. So I think that's the first thing that a professional web designer uh, can bring to your business and to your, your project. The second one is the ability to capture and engage the browser or the web visitor and deliver an excellent user experience. Uh, basically, user experience is uh, how the web visitor reacts to what they find on your website. Um, how much of your website they look at, how much they read, how much they um, they engage with the content. And again, this is a skill that is uh, learned over a period of time, both academically uh, and in delivering commercial web projects. And it's not a skill that you can pick up in, uh, in five minutes. Uh, user experience is absolutely critical to achieving number three. And number three is the ability to convert that browser or web visitor into a lead inquiry or sale. If you don't convert a goal on your website, there is no point in having your website um, unless it is purely there to uh, convey information. But most business websites are there with a, an aim of selling ultimately, or at least developing a relationship with people that could lead to selling. And therefore, what what a web professional web designer will bring to you is the ability to be able to convert that person on your website into uh, an email address or an inquiry or a direct sale. So three very strong reasons, I think, why professional web designers are worth the money that you pay them. And those are my three tips on what you're paying for when you hire a professional web designer.